What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another episode here of Outdoor Sensei. My name is Jamal and today we're going to do something different. Uh, we're going to be fishing for frogs. So hopefully it goes right. But I'm going to show you guys my setup here really quick. Just got a little curly tail with a long shank hook right there. And then this is my ultra light rods. This is a St. Croix Trout Series. It is a six foot two piece, really awesome rod. I got four pound test line with a Fluger, a small, I think this is like a, the 1000 series Fluger rail. But anyways, this is what we're gonna use. Um, I heard some frogs croaking already, but I don't see any. I think it's, we're like at midday right now. So it's probably best at night, but we'll see what we can do. See if we can catch a couple frog here, do a catch clean cook for you guys. So stick around. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And yeah, let's get to it. So I kept hearing a frog over here somewhere. I don't even know if this dock is safe. Dude, there's one right by this tree somewhere. Just can't spot him. So pretty much what I'm doing here is I'm just scanning the water here, scanning the edge. I'll try to see if I can see any frogs. I'm not seeing any. I'm getting demolished by these mosquitoes, man. All right, you guys, so a quick update here. We are at like probably spot number three, man. I've been searching for these frogs like everywhere. But you know, I think it's just too early or we're at midday. So I've been, I walked past a couple frog. But you know they're not in the water so they're like sitting in the tall grass right now because i think they're just trying to stay away from the sun or something that's just what i think i don't really target frogs so i probably don't really know what i'm talking about but <laughs> so far man it's been a journey i only have one gopro battery so that's what we're gonna work with hopefully we can get something here and we gotta hike so there's a couple pond over here that I want to check out. Hopefully, it holds some frogs. We just got to the pond right here and I spotted a pretty big bass. Let's see if I can show you guys on the camera here. Look at that, you guys. Just chilling. But, as you guys know, we are actually here for the frogs, so I don't have any tackle here at all. All I got uh, is my one rod and this little white curly tail and my cooler. That's all I got. Look what I found. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let's see. Let's see if I can put my sunglasses here. Look at that. Looks like a northern pike. You guys, I don't know if you guys can hear, but these frogs are going crazy right now. But you know what? I can't see them. <laughs> they are croaking like crazy. This is probably the hot spot over here. I gotta be careful. I think I've been spooking them a lot. All right, you guys, so it is day number two. Uh, first day that we went out frogging. Man, I heard a whole bunch, but I was not able to locate them. So today, we're at a different spot now. Uh, just talking to one of my cousins, and he said that this is where the juice is at. So 
We're gonna give it a shot. Hopefully we can find a couple frogs here. So stick around you guys. And we're gonna get started day number two. There's a frog right there. His head is sticking out. Right there? Here, I'll show you. See if I can catch it. Oh, here it comes. Did you see it? Here, reel it. <laughs> reel it, reel. Yeah. Oh, it came off. It's okay, we'll find another one. Do you see the frog? Okay. He's sitting right there. There we go. Got one, this is a little one. All right, you guys, so we got our first frog right here. Decent sized one, it's not that big, but. So, I'm gonna have to put this guy to sleep. I got my cooler right here. And it is filled with ice. Hopefully you guys can see that, pretty nice cooler. And then this is gonna be what's gonna put them to sleep, so. Here we go. So we got one frog. Let's see if we can catch a couple more. Five is the limit. All right, so we have a frog sitting just right in here. Let's see if I can zoom in. Looks like a pretty nice size one. I'll try to see if I can get that guy. Oh no! I had him. So we just stumbled upon a couple frogs here. I'll show you guys real quick. There's one sitting in here. It looks like a pretty nice big one. And then right next to it, there's one. Oh, come on now. Let's see if you can catch two frogs. Are you challenging me? Not me. Huh? See if I can catch two frogs? All right, let's see. We'll give it a try. All right, let's see if we can catch two frogs here. I don't know about two, but maybe one. Whoa, he launched at it. There we go. That's a better size one. A little bigger, right? Okay, I got one, dude. The challenge was two. We're gonna put this guy to sleep. All right, this guy going in the cooler. All right, I got one. What are you gonna What are you gonna give me if I catch two? This next one's gonna be a challenge, though, because this guy is in a really tough spot really hard to get to but this is the bigger one huge Let's see if I can drop it oh oh yeah I got it he's got it he's on it he, but you don't have my hook come on take the hook I can see my hook getting exposed right now let's see if I can get a good zoom for you guys So he's, he's got the tail, but not the hook. Ding. Oh, 
There we go. There we go. I got him. Oh no, dude. I swear he swallowed it. There we go. Oh, come on now. Dang, I thought I had it. I guess I lost the challenge, dude. <laughs> Shoot. I swear he ate it. He bit the hook. All right, we'll keep moving on. All right, you guys, so we're gonna head home right now. We're gonna clean these frogs. Uh, fortunately, we only got two. We lost a couple good frogs. We should have gotten our limit. Limit today would, would have been five, but I don't know. I'm not, just not getting good hooks set. But anyways, you guys wanna check out this cooler right here. It's a really nice cooler. It actually comes with aerators, actually for light bait. But today, I'm using it as a cooler. So if you guys wanna check it out, leave a link down below. We're gonna head home, clean these frogs, and we're gonna fry it. Eli, you say you want to try frogs, right? We're gonna give frogs a try. You're gonna eat it? Yeah? All right, so we'll see you guys in the kitchen. All right, you guys, so we are in the kitchen now. The frog's been sitting in the cooler, chilling in the ice for a good, maybe I would say two hours. So we're gonna start cleaning now. Um, I'll show you guys the setup in a little bit. I have not cleaned frogs in a long time. It's been, I would say a good five years since I've cleaned frogs. Uh, but they're, they're pretty easy. So yeah, let's get to it. We're gonna pan fry these frog legs and I know Eli is excited to try the frogs, which I'm pretty surprised. I thought he's not gonna eat it. Well, he said he will, but we'll find out. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so right here, I just got my fillet knife. Scissor, kitchen scissor here. I got a plier. The plier is gonna be for pulling back the skin. All right, let's get started here. So pretty much, I'm just gonna cut, try to get the first layer of the skin right here at the top. Just like that. Grab your pliers. And then you can just pull. Just like that. Nice and easy, you guys. And then your scissor right here. Just gonna clip this off. And then right here is where you wanna cut your legs. And right there, these are your frog legs. So we're gonna rinse this out. I'm gonna clean the other one and then I'll show you guys in a little bit. All right, so these are our nice little legs right here. Let's see if I can zoom in. All right, so what we're gonna do here, we're just gonna cut right through the middle. Just like that. And today we are going to be using Shore Lunch original recipe. I've never used these before. Hopefully it turns out good. A um, bunch of good reviews on it. So I'm just gonna crack an egg right here. Frog legs, I'm just gonna get dipped in here. I'm just gonna hang out in here for a little bit. While I get the shore lunch ready. All right, so just grab a sandwich bag here. Open it up. And then we're gonna dump some of the shore lunch in there. Like I said, I've never used these before, so I don't even know how much to put. It smells pretty good though. Comes in a little package like that inside the box.
I think that should be enough. So next up, what we're gonna do here, just get the frog legs, and we're just gonna put it in here, and we're gonna shake it up. So hopefully, that turns out good. Let's do one at a time. The oil is hot now, so we're just gonna put it down to medium. Now we are going to start frying. I'm pretty excited for this. I've never had fried frog legs. Normally I cook it differently, like an Asian inspired way, but let's give this a try. Browning a lot faster than what I was expecting. But it's looking good and it smells good right now. Yes, yeah, check that out. Beautiful piece right here. Alright. I think these are ready now. They look and smell amazing. You ready to try frogs? There's a bone in there. You gotta eat it like a chicken leg, okay? Like this. See that? Mmm. Here, bite it right here. Or, or I'll just break it off for you. What do you think? Okay. It's good? Do you think we should go catch more? Like right now? Not right now. In the future. Yeah, that's actually really good. <clears throat> Whenever you guys get a chance, make sure you guys try this Shore Lunch original recipe. It's pretty bomb, man. But if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And as always, I will see you guys next time.